Hey everybody, Katie Failinger here, and I've got a very fun event coming up on Friday. It is my next book signing. And I thought it might be kind of cool to show you how I've been preparing for these book signings because you know, hashtag 2020 has been like a dumpster fire every year. And it means that most authors have had a difficulty trying to do actual book signings in actual bookstores. And I am absolutely one of those people. So um, I've had to get really creative with the way that I approach any kind of live event for my book and I've had a couple of signings so far they've been really successful and I thought it might be kind of cool to show you the steps that I've been taking and the equipment that I've been using to DIY my own book signings in a pandemic COVID world. Um, so all this crap behind me is all the stuff that I have to take along with me anytime I want to do a book signing. and. I don't travel very light, so I just wanted to show you some of the cool stuff that um, that I've had to invest in in order to be able to see people face to face. Well, mask to mask these days. So I'm going to start by just showing you. Um, well, let's see. What shall I start with? I mean, there's so much. There's so much stuff. I'll show you the stuff that doesn't require any setup first. How's that sound? So, oh, the magic of sandbags. Ugh. So I have like three of these. These things are freaking jacked. They probably weigh, I should actually put them on a scale. I'm not certain how much they weigh, but I would say they easily weigh 20 to 25 pounds a pop. Ugh, it's really heavy. I use those to hold down this guy. So this, this is the case to a cool sign that I got. So I'm a big fan of Vistaprint. Um, I typically get my Christmas cards printed by them every year and they do an awesome job. So they always have really good deals too. I have no commission coming by telling you this, but the really cool sign that I got is from Vistaprint. So it's super compact. It comes in its own little case and it's just portable um, signage to let people know what's going on. So it just announces the book signing and you put those little feet out do I have it the right way? And then, voila! It says, today, with an empty space there, there are little pieces of Velcro right there. These little pieces of little Velcro dots that I put on here. And what I do is take, I'll show it to you in a minute. I, I take a little chalkboard sign and I put in the times that I'm doing this. So that way I didn't have to get multiple signs. So I can put the sign up and it says, today there's a book signing and I can fill in the appropriate time with a little sign that I put on. Let me show that to you right now, in fact. So this box is full of goodies that I'll show you here. All right, so here's the little sign that I put out. The last book signing was from 6.30 to 8.30. You can see on the back that I have these little uh, Velcro little stickers so i attach this it's super lightweight it weighs like nothing and i attach that to the vinyl sign and i can interchange and switch out the times for every signing so the next signing is 4 30 to 6 30. i have to change that one and spare velcro stickers just in case because god forbid i lose one of my velcro stickers extra chalkboard markers happy face balloons seeing as how my book my happy place is all about smiles and love and joy and fulfillment and contentment. So I got a bunch of happy face smiley balloons on Amazon to fill up, um, you know, like eight or 10 of them per signing. Thanks to canva.com. I printed out a little sign of how you can pay me. <laughs> so what's been cool is I've been able to, the merchants and the vendors and the businesses that I've been working with have been generous enough and kind enough to let me sell my books on site. So people can pay me via Venmo or PayPal. And the other cool thing that I invested in, um, I forget how much it cost, but it wasn't too much, is a little card reader. So this is a square reader and it allows for tap to pay. Like we just tap your phone, like swipe your phone across it and you can pay that way. Or it's got the chip reader card that you can just pop your card in and it'll read the card. And then in addition, the kit that I got also comes with one of these Magistripes, I think I'm saying that right. And all you do is pop that into, I use my iPad for this, 
Um, you connect it into your device and people can swipe any traditional credit card if it doesn't have a chip on it. So um, I've been totally set up to accept payment and word to the wise for the Square payment, just if you ever do this, make sure you have Wi-Fi. You have to have Wi-Fi to access the app. <laughs> and um, that's been like my one thing that I have had hiccups on is trying to access the Wi-Fi. So I've been carrying my MiFi. It's a little portable Wi-Fi hotspot around with me to these signings just in case I can't access the, um, the Wi-Fi at any given business. And that did actually become a problem at the last place I was at um, for whatever reason. Like I wasn't close enough, I don't think, to their, um, to their network, so I wasn't able to log in. Safety first, of course. I require masks at my signings and I think that's wise given the circumstances. I also have my own hand sanitizer, so I have that sitting right there as I'm signing and people can take advantage of that too. I don't know why I bring a pair of scissors. I just feel like it's possible I could need them. Why? I don't even have a use case for them. But really good sharp shears just make me feel good having on hand. So I have a pair of those. I bring some of these guys just in case I need to like clip. Are these carabiners or carabiners? I never know how to say it, but that's, I bring them along. I bring like four or five of those. And that's everything in the magic box. <laughs> The other cool stuff I have, let's see. When these things are open all the way, they essentially become the sail to a boat. The slightest wind will send them flying and toppling. So to prepare for that, since I, want, I have been putting these outside, I plan for that with options to attach the sign uh, somehow to some sort of sturdy either pole or tree branch or fencing, something like that. And to do that, I bring along many options. So take a look in my box of tricks. We got zip ties. We got all kinds of bungees. We got super rusty clamps. We got string and tent stakes. Don't know why or how I'd use those, but more of those carabiner thingies. Um, just tons and tons of options to just clamp that sign in place because I'm telling you that thing, I tested it on my deck when I first got it and it was barely breezy and the thing went flying. So I'm like, crap, I gotta fix this <laughs> um, or find a way to mitigate the issue. But I had Vistaprint also print up this cool poster board. So I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can read it. And what I did here was really just to give people the nudge to tag me on their social media. Since I'm all for taking pictures of these things, I feel like that makes total sense for me. There's no reason uh, not to, that if people are gonna take pictures with me, even if it's through a piece of plexiglass, that I would love to have them tag me on it. So I made this up to just one more time, go over the rules, and then one more time, tell you how you can tag me and where to find me. And then also my website is over here. Yeah, so that people can find me there too. Um, so that is pretty much it for most of the gear. The cool part I'm gonna show you at the end and it's also a pain in the butt to unpack. Ugh. The other thing I've been bringing, and this is like labor intensive, is the heavy box of actual copies of my book. So I've been lugging around close to 100 copies of my book every time I go and I just have stacks and stacks, can you even see that? Oh, stacks and stacks of books ready for people to purchase and have signed by me in person. And this, I've had some pretty decent success so far with people purchasing the book on site, which has been really gratifying. Um, so that is essentially my setup, save for one more thing that I wanna show you. And that is what I think is probably the strangest, but at the same time, coolest part of all this. You'll see the reason I'm making all this room for it. Just, just watch. Just watch. This is nuts. Here we go. You can barely see it. This thing has been pretty awesome. Like taking pictures with this, even in the middle, uh, and it, as a barrier, hasn't proven to be too much of a problem for people. Like it's, it's necessary and they understand that. Um, but all you do is plop these little base pieces in. They're just triangular shaped. I don't know if you can even see that. Triangular shaped, there you go, the light catches it. Um, bases, they fit in like a puzzle piece. 
and now I'm a bank teller. <laughs> and then I put my picture of my, or my sticker rather, of my Square app so that people know how they can pay. And I just sit through like this and I can even, can you even see that? I'll lift it up so you can see. But yeah, there's like a slat that I can put books through again, like a bank teller, it's really cool. So this has been working. And um, again, I've got another book signing coming up if you're local to Southeast PA or South Jersey or even North Delaware and you wanna come and say hi, I would love to see you. It's this Friday, the 25th of September from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. at Danielle Foster Creations in Havertown. It's on Westchester Pike and she'll be tagged on whatever post you're seeing this video through. Um, but real easy to find her. She's got lots of parking and you can come bring your book or purchase one on site. Like I showed you, I'm going to have plenty of copies available and I'll sign it for you. You can take your own pictures with your own device. If you want, you can also purchase a digital photo or a digital image. I should say a digital image from Danielle. And again, she's an amazing photographer and she's going to have us set up in a special room again with COVID restrictions in place and take a professional image of the two of us or you can have it of just you whatever you want but for 10 bucks she'll be offering that and then again you don't have to pay me anything unless you're buying a new copy of the book i will happily just you know say hi and i would love to talk to you face to face at work again mask to mask and uh, just i would love to hear your thoughts about the book so I know this has gone on pretty long. I'm gonna cut myself off now. This is what happens when I don't use a script. I tend to ramble, but thanks for watching. I hope you found this kind of informative. If you have any questions about where I got any of my stuff, give me a shout and I'll try to help you out. But yeah, you know, if anything positive comes out of everything that we've had to deal with with this pandemic, I would say it's just the fact that we are incredibly creative out of this, you know, taking what should have been live events, going virtual with them and making them just as kick-ass. Um, taking live events like mine, like my book signings and spinning the norm on its head and figuring out a way to just make it happen already. Um, it's been really, not just interesting, but I would say rewarding just from a creative side to be able to come up with a solution and figure out how we can just get stuff done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're gonna be coming out to one of my events soon. Again, book signing this Friday the 25th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. All the details and the link to the event are below uh, or somewhere within this post as you're watching it. And I am really looking forward to, uh, to Friday. It's gonna be a blast and I hope to see you there. Let me know if you're gonna be there. I'll see you soon, guys.